Hello, hi there, how you doing? It's Daniel Dior from the podcast that you love, Kenyan Stories. I'm sitting at Hungary. If you don't know Daniel of Kenyan Stories and uh, conversation in Five Next Steps, you guys are doing a lot of stuff, especially in the luxury space. When you talk about luxur- luxury tourism in Kenya, what does that actually mean? We say, from our perspective, luxury is giving our clients unforgettable experiences. For us, we consider giving our clients the value for their money. So in terms of luxury, we offer for high-end properties, we work with high-end airline companies to make sure that our guests feel value for their money and also the experience is going to be one of a lifetime. So I'll give you a scenario, let's say you come to us, when you want to do Masai Mara, we have of course a list of camps we work with, so you get uh, unlimited game drives, you get shared game drives, private game drives. We also do all meals uh, catered for. We do um, drinks are catered for. We do sundowners. We do bush meals. So we're giving you like an all-inclusive package to give you an idea of what to expect. So which is your favorite place to go? That's an interesting question because. Uh, Mara has different camps that are, have unique selling points. I'd say my top three, yeah. if that's okay, I can do um, Sanchario Lanana, Kichwa Tembo, and beyond Kichwa Tembo luxury camp. I'd also do Angama. Okay, so w- w- what's different between the three? Okay, so I'll start with the first one. Yeah. Central Yolonana is more of like a modern feel. So for the client who's not looking for the traditional aspect of the tent or the accommodation or the design as a whole, is more of a modern feel. So for the client who wants something that uh, doesn't make you feel like you're really in the bush, it's a very modernized. That's me. Yeah. It's a very modernized, modernized calm, very luxurious, ultra uh, luxury I'd say, comes with uh, magnificent views of the river, so from your room your view is the river. Are there animals in the river? Yeah, there are hippos. That's camp number one. Camp number two? Camp number two I'd say is Kichotembo okay. and beyond Kichotembo. If you're looking for the luxury experience yeah. but you're not willing to spend a crazy amount of money that yes. you go to camp, yeah. we're going there because of also the location, the ambience and also the different variety of uh, rooms. The camp is not fenced yeah. so animals roam by. So let's say from from your room to the lounge area you're yeah. probably going to spot a war dog around and then the views hmm. the views it has a very from your room depending on also which room category you're in yeah. the views are absolutely breathtaking from just gives you the how the mara is so i'd say the views yeah. the views and also the fact that it's not fenced okay mm-hmm. so the first one luxury home feel you know between the mara yes this one the view is great but open spaces and the third one the third one is angama yeah. angama is ultra luxury in terms of how the camp is built it has very unique selling points like a sunken lounge area where you have magnificent views of the mara it's, a, it's on a raised ground yeah. the mara triangle so from where you are the views are absolutely breathtaking as well in terms of customer service they are very accommodating uh, let's say for clients who are on honeymoon they do maasai local wedding where the bride wears uh, maasai clothing the husband as well they're given like a sentimental gifts as well yeah. so as a whole it gives our clients a very unique feel of what africa has to offer good stuff